Good morning everyone, it's Joker, and today we are back with another video, and today I'm gonna go over something that all players want to know for big time celebrations for any gacha game, and that is, how many crystals are we gonna get? How many free stuffs are they going to give us? Well, I don't know for sure, but we can make a reasonable assumption based on what has already happened during the six month anniversary, which was their next biggest celebration, and what has already come as far as, you know, normal months progression and, you know, free things that they've given out this month specifically. So we know, let's see, let's put this up real quick. So here is the breakdown that I've had. Um, for a while now, and I've made a little bit of some changes because some this was I originally made this during the six month Annie, and some of the stages nowadays do not give the same amount of rewards as they used to six months ago. But we know that we get 30 gems a week every seven days for login, so that's 120, and 560 based on all your dailies that you do over 28 days, give or take. And then we have story events, milestone rewards challenge quests that we get generally every month sometimes we get multiple so hopefully they give us multiple during the anniversary and so those crystals will just build um tempered edge we know gives about 90 crystals nowadays uh you know 25 for clearing all the stages and then well 30 for clearing all the stages and then 60 for you know 10 crystals for each individual stage that you use all of one specific typing for right now it's earth so if you clear all the difficulties using only earth characters you'll get 10 crystals a stage so that's a total of 90 and then jubilee blitz jubilee catalyst it will vary based on your progression and your ranking but you know it's not hard nowadays to get in the top 10 where you get 400 crystals right i'm pretty sure people auto in the top top 10 percent so it shouldn't be difficult. If you don't play it at all, you get nothing. If you play one stage out of like the 10 or something, you are guaranteed at minimum 40 crystals, minimum 40. But if you want to try and just push your luck and see just how far you can get, it doesn't really matter your score, but as long as you try and get a higher percentage than top 80% or something, you can get better rewards, right? So you can get between zero and 600 for each Jubilee. There are two each month. So that's 1,200 gems that are up for grabs if you want to be a sweaty tryhard. Um, and then there's the Tempest Harvest, which we don't have going on right now. It just ended, but that's 25 crystals um, every time they bring it around. For the half anniversary, they had it rotating every single week. So that was 25 crystals a week for a month. So it's 100 crystals now that we potentially can get, which I think they will do. Uh, I think they'll bring it every single weekend. And then we have the Awakening Trials like we have currently going on right here for Shuna, which has uh, 20, 15 stages. So each of these stages has five crystals for you know beating it with three stars. So that's good crystal right there. We'll get one for next meta as well, probably towards the middle slash end of it. But that's another 75 crystals, which puts you between 1365 for not playing Jubilee or 2565 for getting top placement in Jubilee with the full 600 crystal reward for each one. So that's awesome. Cool. That's not a lot. <laughs> it's not awesome. It's not even half a pity on a banner, um, which is unfortunate. But this is not counting all the extra stuff that they give us. Um, social media rewards, campaigns, tickets... A whole bunch of other factors that are not included in here because this is literally just event crystals but looking back at the six month anniversary and what they gave us during that period they gave us a thousand login crystals over the entire period so it's a pretty hefty amount right it's almost half of what you get for a month um, they also gave us 300 for the live stream reward so i expect them to do that again we got the Rimuru Soothing Days event, which is kind of the same as what's going on with the Xion and Diablo story right here, with you know three stories and then a throwaway mission that give you 25 crystals each. So that's what the Soothing Days Rimuru thing was. I expect us to get something like that as well. Um, again, Jubilee was in there. We got New Nation Expansion Rewards, which uh, was the time they released the Riverfront, which I don't expect us to get because we've already maxed out the riverfront and they have made really no um, information given on expanding our town or building options any further. So that probably won't be there. 
I do expect the next five stages of Tower of Isis, Loop Loop, whatever you want to call it, to show up. We're currently capped at stage 45, so I expect 46 through 50 to show up during the anniversary, and then the tower chests can give us, you know, a random amount. Sometimes it's 150, sometimes it's less. Uh, hopefully it's a good amount. So that is the total crystal count right there for just April alongside what normally comes. This obviously is factoring in Jubilee again, which you would just take out. But it's still, you know, a decent amount of crystals on top of what we would normally get for the month. And then you go down here and you have a whole bunch of login tickets, bingo tickets, daily four-star single that we got for 17 days on its own, like, separate banner. Every single day you do a single, you get a four-star or you get a five-star. I think I got three five stars out of that entire period so i mean it's not bad it's free so what's there to complain about and then we got some mission tickets which amounted to 37 single summons which is 1110 crystals worth of summons that we just get for free so they gave that they are much more generous with tickets nowadays than this because if you scroll over to here we can see that for the month of october right we have received 30 benny Morrow and mirin tickets whether from logging in from bingo board missions or the event shop, right? Three multis worth just on Benny Maro Mirren's banner. Then we have currently still going on 14 login days for Adelman, of which I think we're like three days away from getting that maxed out, uh, of which then I will have Adelman because I had a pity his ass. Um, but there's, you know, 14 tickets right there. We got the fire challenge quest that has come and gone, but if you did all the missions and cleared all the stages, you got a free multi on the fire banner. Um, tonight we are getting the speed banner, which I don't know what that's going to look like. Well, we know what the banner is going to look like. I don't know what the event's going to look like. But the same thing, you clear all the stages, you clear all the missions, and you get another multi on the speed banner. We have four double-rate five-star tickets that we get every week. or we get one every week for a total of four a month from the bingo board. We get ten Tempest tickets from the bingo board after you finish Awakening Aaron and or the whatever free-to-play unit and clearing out the two bingos. There's a third bingo, um, let's see, right here, we'll go find it real fast just for an example. Right here, where it changes over to Tempest tickets and then Octogram emblems. So there's another 10 tickets right there. And then there's the Shion Diablo story that gave us 100 crystals. So, overall, it's 2,340 crystals worth of summons, right? Just on free tickets. Free, assuming you've you played everything and beat it. Um, so, I mean, that's on top of what we get for the month, and that's going to be on top of all these other, you know, new crystal things that we get, and on top of the large-scale battle event that's going to come. So, overall, I think I it's just shy of, like, 8,000 crystals uh, worth of summons that we get, which is pretty good. And assuming that they give us more, because it's the one-year anniversary, and it's a big milestone for gotcha games, I would safely assume that we will get more free stuff than what is shown on this spreadsheet that I have. But I think this is a good baseline for what players can expect as far as free stuff. Um, but please take it with a grain of salt. Don't quote me on it. It is up for change because I'm not a developer as much as some people want to claim that I am because of sometimes my luck. I promise you I'm not. Otherwise, I wouldn't have spent nearly as much money on this game as I should or as I have. But this is a good baseline. What you can expect from the anniversary as far as free stuff. Hopefully it answers a few of your questions. Hopefully it doesn't bring you any questions, but hopefully it's useful, right? I think it's useful. I think it will be good for new players to see a numbers breakdown of what you can get. And then hopefully all the free stuff in October, they just carry it over into November and also make it better. So it's also crazy that it's halfway through October of 2022 already. Like where the fuck is my year gone? Uh, <laughs> but that's a different story. That's just my brain not contemplating my life. So let me know if you have questions on the spreadsheet, if I've missed anything major that needs to be included that would sway the crystal count even more. Uh, I'll make a community post about it if I did indeed miss something major. But I think this is a good point that you can take and be like, okay, we can budget. We can make do with this. So that's it for me, guys. Take it easy. And I'll see you later. Mm -hmm.